Thank you, Peter Johnson, Jr. One Democratic congresswoman is now calling the GOP's call to repeal, quote, the job-killing health care law hate speech. Maine Representative Shelley Pingree says, quote, is it really necessary to put the word killing in the title of a major piece of legislation? I don't think that word is in there by accident. My Republican friends know as well as anyone the power of words to send a message. But in this environment and at this moment in our nation's history, it is not the message we should be sending. Our Washington Insider here for a fair and balanced with the bill and and you got a problem with the name right both are true okay. the name is is uh, absurd especially in the wake of the arizona tragedy you don't put a name like that in a bill especially when you claim that you want to sit together and have civility in congress if that's Steve? the kind of civility that the republicans want to have it isn't going to last very long all right congressman the Steve, unless you're a friend of a liberal member of Congress, uh, there is an, uh, an American that you know that would sign a 3,000 page contract that was shoved across at them and said, you need to sign it to find out what's in it. And as a result of all the things that are taking place with the president having to sign hundreds of, of waivers for all of their union friends and others, right. the people want this thing killed. If you look under the dictionary, they want it vetoed. They want it ended. They want it <laughs> killed. And that's what the, the Republicans have promised to do. Right. But Congressman, there are a number of people who say by having the word killing in the title, given what happened in Arizona last week, it's inappropriate. Isn't it something, you know, unless you're, you're east of the Hudson River, the idea that you would kill an engine or the, every director that says kill the lights or, or poor old Kroger that has that has this spray that's going to kill odors. Right. You know, you can't have hate speak like that going on in our grocery stores. You know, liberals don't want to focus on the issue that this is the most destructive piece of legislation to hit okay. our economy in our lifetime. Okay. And therefore, they want to focus on anything else. Mr. Weiner, I'll give you the final word. Well, let's focus on the issue because uh, the bill can, uh, allows of pre-existing conditions, seniors, chill, uh, drugs, the children the under 26, lifetime benefits, and preventive health care. So if you're killing by creating life and creating health, you're actually making the wrong name for a very positive bill. All right. We're going to have to find out what does happen to H.R. 2, uh, former Congressman Bob McEwen and Bob Weiner, the dueling Bob. Thank, thank, thank you, gentlemen, you, for joining us on this holiday.